What do you do when you find an uninvited critter in your house and the exterminator isn't available? Well, some people take matters into their own hands. Are they scared? What do you think they're gonna running? <laughs> Exterminator, <laughs> our good friend Nick Isaac. <laughs> Wait, can we watch that again? Can I watch it again? It happened so quickly. <laughs> so it's because that, I mean that. <laughs> oh, the tumbling. I'm like tumbling down. Oh. Oh. And then the sweet band had it all set up, didn't they? It's like a hockey player at the bottom there. <laughs> Slap shot like from the blue right. line now. And. She, oh. What, what do you do in a situation like that? Um, these kids can put me out of a job, I tell you. <laughs> uh, the best way is to trap it, because if one of those brooms or buckets missed, the rat would have still been in the house. How do you, but okay, it's one thing to say, just use a bucket. Right. Like, come here, rat, rat. <laughs> well, I, how, do you, how do you get the rat have into the bucket? Have you not had rats in your house before? I, no, not to my I knowledge. Grew, we've had so many. It was only a couple of years ago when we had this rat, I called him wheat germ. And um, <laughs> I, I discovered it because it came out from behind the stove, a hole in the wall, which connected to the garage. Right. So it came out of the garage, through the, into the bread box, which was right there. And I pulled out the bread, and the kids were four at the time, and I literally was like, what are you guys ripping through the side of the bed, you animals? And then I was like, oh. Because <laughs> it wasn't really like a clean human rip. It so was like it was coming in and out of the bread box? Going through, out of the garage, around the stove, eventually Eating, that's around a smart my rat. trap, Very. around the trap, into the bread, around the trap, through the wall. So what'd you do? Garage. Well, we, you know, I see what you have over there. My dad, because I live in the same city when I grew up, so I grew up with these rats, and I know the peanut butter trick. Yep. Peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter is the best way to they go. That's still butter. their favorite food. Still their favorite Not food. Cheese. So you Hundred use that years. to get them in, into a bucket or into a trap of some sort? Uh, you would, a bucket, I wouldn't really use a bucket to get a rat into. I would use it for a trap um, because if they get in a bucket, rats are like extremely athletic. So they could jump out of that bucket and, you know, scare and the Nick, crap talk out of about like they can get through a hole. What can they do with their bodies? Well, they what become happens like spaghetti. Is, is, what it is is, um, as long as they can get their shoulders and their heads in, they can get in because their skulls are pliable. They can they can squeeze. So if they can they can squeeze in anywhere the size of a quarter, they can squeeze in. I see you have your trap here. I've tried the stickies with rats. Mm -hmm. And I've actually seen a rat gnaw his leg off and get out of the sticky. The, the sticky traps are kind of iffy. Um, normally with sticky traps, you don't want to use those for rats. For mice, it's okay because they're not as strong enough to get out. But like I said, rats are really athletic. So they can, I've seen. They play baseball. They tear their fur off. Hockey. You know? So you I mean, look at it. You they'll they'll drag that trap, trap with them. Oh, yeah. So do you recommend using I something recommend like peanut butter? A, tra a traditional trap. I actually have brought some traps today. I prefer to use the traps, the old school traps, with the metal trigger. Um, and what I would do is I would get the crunchy peanut butter. Crunchy peanut butter is always the best because it has the nuts. And it actually gives them the opportunity to try and get the nuts. And I love that you give organic peanut butter. Just throwing it out. <laughs> organic peanut butter. Nothing too good for our rats. <laughs> <laughs> and when you put it on there, you set the trap. Always set the trap with your hand away from the actual trigger. So if, never put your hand on this side of the trap. You put it on there, but when you set it, you want to set it against the wall so that it, the, this is the wall, the trap goes against the wall this way. Because like I said, rats are athletic. That's the lesson for today. They go back away from a trap. So sometimes you'll see a trap that's been snapped without catching the rat. It's because the rat is so quick, it got away. When you set it so that it's against the wall, they don't have a chance to really get away. So we don't, I want to make very clear, we don't have anything against, against rats. No, we don't. But they're no joke. Um, the one thing I wanted to ask is, what is the best prevention strategy? Um, just like anything else, you want to try to keep them out of your environment. Rats, especially, they don't want to live in your house. They want to come in, nest, and go out. So if you seal your house and protect it so that nothing can get in, that hole in the garage that led into the, the kitchen, you want to seal all the holes in the house to prevent them from coming in. You're never going to get rid of all the rats in the world. We don't want to get rid of the, all the rats in the world. You want to get rid of all the rats inside your home.